Oh, yes. don't even get me started on the FDA. I got a big one on the FDA. The FDA is crooked as shit. That Alzheimer's drug we I'm were talking about. about. It's like they they <laughs> had uh, part of their governing board resign because they were uh, approving a drug that had no clinical effect. Yeah. And so and they were just doing it because somebody made that money. So now they are oh we got this new fifty thousand dollar a year Alzheimer medicine. Well, were you talking about the ivermectin? Before. Oh, the horse, the horse tranquilizer. It's not a horse tranquilizer. Oh, <laughs> the horse dewormer. The horse dewormer. No, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, yeah, we were. And but it where is, they're putting out a new drug that's yeah, essentially that's exactly the same thing, but they can charge five hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. Instead of a few dollars of pill. And that's why they don't want you taking ivermectin. Not necessarily. I don't know. I'm not a chemist yeah, or anybody that knows here. the uh -huh. thing. But uh, are they? Is that what that is? That's what it is. They, he's not lying when he says that. They just came out with a new drug. Yeah. It's an antiviral that's basically... But it's it's tailor-made for human consumption. Well, no, the ivermectin right? is too. Yes. The ivermectin... It's, and it's also they use it chemically horse, different enough from uh, ivermectin it's to be considered parasite. a different thing. Right. So they, they use it... Yeah, they have this different thing an antiviral. for horses, but right. ivermectin, it's used in humans all the time. It's not made So do you warn humans? Well, it's an it's anti for it's, yeah. But yeah, yeah but it's, it's found to have antiviral... Uh, no, that's, well. you're not. You're not I know. I know. It just sounds funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's not like the drug was made for horses. They actually made the drug for humans. They won the Nobel Prize, uh -huh. and then they give it to just like Easy antibiotics. Drug, you know, like horses get antibiotics. It's the same yeah. antibiotics humans. Get. Yeah, the problem is the dosage. Well, yeah, right. the dosage Ten times and bigger than what the mm -hmm. what the. Yeah. Um, the delivery system is. So you take like, a, you take a horse pill. I think it's like a paste or something. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> Imagine the way you smear out a cracker. Um, a triscuit? Yeah, a triscuit? I think. Uh, sweet thins? I mean, it would make sense. Is that like, what you were spraying on your wheat thins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotta keep that rona away. <laughs> Just eat charcoal uh, like a normal person. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've remected. It's like, it, and it works better than any other uh, drug they found for Corona. And all of a sudden they came out with another. You know what would be great? Because uh, you're the guy behind the monitor. Yeah. And you pull that stuff up. Yeah. That's what we're talking. Yeah, that's great. Like, uh, yeah, you so what's the pill called? I mean, and, I mean, what else do we. It, it, so well, and it's it's, so it's is not. It, is I don't know for like, sure. It's just very suspicious. <laughs> is it something like do you, you take it when you get Corona? To yes, help you yeah, fight? that's exactly. Okay, what it is. so it's not you a get Corona. No, no, no. You get Corona, and it's a treatment, uh, and it's not a treatment for people with severe Corona. It's mild to moderate Corona. Okay, but it's so but, not, but, but if you're in the ICU, no, they're not going to give you. If you have to go to the hospital, they would not give it to you. Because if you're in that bad of shape, yeah. the side effects are probably too bad. Because mm. obviously, any drug you take is going to have some sort of side effect. Right. And so when you well, I, ivermectin, for what I've heard, is is pretty safe. Like you would need so well, it's, so you can't you really overdose. Over on so it. some of the stories that I've seen of people getting angry that they're okay. having is uh, for people that are already in the ICU. There's you can't and really it, do much I, for those people. Right, but people don't understand that. And they're throwing it like the government's not letting us give our you know loved beloved one uh, you know yeah our loved ones their needed ones. treatment right the these drugs and like like you say but once they're in that state you can't take it no is it more effective if you have a Rona shot you know a vaccine shot and then because well because if you have right? a Rona sh uh, the, if if you have so a vaccine shot you are less likely to get that sick right so that means you probably would be more likely to get to this get treatment that and pill. it would be more likely to be successful <laughs> so is it more well that's is, what is that, the governor of Florida was saying is that a uh, an incentive to get the uh, vaccine then because now like you get the vaccine you well, don't get uh, I think, as severe uh, effects anymore and yeah. then you can take this deworming. Well, uh, I no. think well, it's we're not a deworming pill. It's <laughs> it's a uh, anti-parasitical, antiviral, or something. Right. Yeah. They, they but people thing. know it yeah, as a deworming, deworming pill. Yeah. But so. yeah, like when you say it, like it, it the connotation is that yeah, it, it's not. You know, like, I don't know. I would say that this would speak to an even broader point. It's not so much like I think this vaccine. I think that's just kind of the catalyst. It's uh, a we loss still, of trust for authority. You know, and Trump didn't do anything to help it, but it was a problem long before Trump was around. People don't trust the government. People don't trust the news, and it's only been getting worse and worse. And for whatever reason, and now the government and the news are teaming up on something, and that makes all the 
15% that didn't trust the government and the 15% that didn't trust the news is now 30%. And then there, they convert 5% each. But then where do they get their news? I, they they won't tell you. If you ask them, so ask the, them, where where did you get this from? And they're so um, last week tonight with uh, John Oliver, definitely with uh, him, right? his last episode was about that, where people are getting their information, and a huge uh, chunk of it is uh, from Same family origin. members oh. who get their info from friends uh, of their own that get them from uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp. Uh, I, I really didn't want to say Facebook. They, to find it good. So, but sports. that's the thing. It's like a lot of this, uh, and so Facebook's cracking down on on English misinformation, but they're doing nothing about other. Uh, well, because languages. they don't have anybody cracking down on misinformation that speaks Spanish or Indian or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they can. It's well, a large chunk of the population. I'm not saying you know, it is. Like a my mom, because I'm Hispanic, my mom is Mexican. Yeah. She's not on uh, Facebook English. She's on Facebook Spanish. And I didn't I, even know that was a thing. There is. I, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see no Facebook, Facebook Spanish. It's all Facebook English for me. Well, because you speak English, so you're going to look up things that are in English. But if you start looking up things in Spanish, then it's going to change your algorithm. Oh, if I because so, there's a bunch of languages you click, and I only have English clicked. You can have English and Spanish, right? And then it will show you English and but Spanish. But the other things what I'm saying is we have you know family members in Mexico that yeah. speak Spanish, so all the things that they, they look up is all in Spanish, and then they send an article or a video here to my mom, she gets it in Spanish. It's not censored and it's not filtered, and then you know then it gets spread uh, to all. Of you know, people that she knows, and so they're saying that secondhand through Facebook is <clears throat> that's one, most common. one. That's a big one, yeah. and then uh, all these other apps that people use to communicate. It's also another big one. But when you were saying, uh, you know, people that distrust the news, uh, you know, where are they getting their news to distrust that news? Yeah, and that's a that's a big one. Well, and the media hasn't done itself any favors by making itself trustworthy either. Well, and the other thing is, uh, we have the internet, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And it's like uh, it's something that we've never had as a, a you know, the society human, collective right. information, right? And uh, you can do your own research. Mm -hmm. Like if a news story is is false. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's going to take some time, 15, 20 minutes, I don't know. Some time. Yeah. You know, well, I do a lot of that myself. You know, that's where I come up with all these things. And, and you don't necessarily need to have a computer. You need to do it off of your phone now. That's what I usually use. So, I mean, if... Uh, and that's the thing. It's just what happens is people get lazy, mm -hmm. and they'd rather be told... <laughs> Instead of doing their own research, I call those headline news. Yeah. Right. They don't even read the story; they just see the headline and then they start arguing. Right. Well, I deal with a lot of that. People will usually but, believe things that either they want to be true or that they fear to be true. Well, and the thing is, okay, say if it it, uh, it hits you very emotionally, right? You're like, okay. Oh my yeah. God, I can't believe it. Do the research. Like, if it's affecting you that much, if you feel emotionally by it. it I, you would think well, it would do a little more. But some people do research in an echo chamber too. Yeah, if you've got a uh, 4chan, I don't know, bias. you got on Reddit and started looking stuff up, you'd be like, you goddamn conservatives. Fucking. Well, I don't have conservatives on there. I don't know. Where do you look up stuff? Because I usually just Google it and then like read through all the different stories. And then I'll see one from CNN. I'll be like, oh, now I know what to think. Uh -huh. And I'll read that story. <laughs> this one goes with my line of thinking. <laughs> well, that completely does right. And that's the bias. echo chamber you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people just want to confirm their own bias. I'll skip just five articles research. that say something I don't like to find the one article that says something I do yeah. like, and then I'll show that. That's why I, I read, like, all the different, like, major news sites. Well, and that, here, here's my thing, is that uh, we need small, local news organizations. We're losing those, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because they're all getting gobbled up by giant corporations. And the thing was... Yeah, everything's consolidated. You know, uh, there, there was a, the case, I think I spoke to you about it, in Florida, where how they found... Who was it? It was a famous case. And uh, they couldn't... Uh, the authorities were having a hard time cracking down on it. 
and it was and they found the uh, the killer through uh, small uh, it was a, just a reporter doing a local reporter, right. reporter. Yeah, 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 investigative journalism is basically dead, which is a shame because that used to be the backbone of journalism. Mm -hmm. And now, it, like, they don't even verify information or anything anymore. These, these well, that's just, something you, know, you got to get to. Well, this is something like, say, you're reading a news article, right? And you pick up a Daily Wire news article about a family being thrown off of a plane because their kid wasn't wearing a mask, right? And you'll read the article and it'll say, uh, bystander says, and then that's their source. It's like one guy said, <laughs> unnamed source. <laughs> yeah. And then it'll say, this is, what the, this is what the person that got kicked off the plane alleges. And it's like, yeah, they got kicked off the plane. They say, oh, my baby wouldn't do it. But really that's not the case. Mm -hmm. They didn't get kicked off for being conservatives that wouldn't wear a mask. They got kicked off for being conservatives that wouldn't wear a mask. You know, it's not, oh, the baby <laughs> wouldn't wear a mask. Right. It's that the bitch started yelling at the flight attendant saying, you know, it's my God-given right. right. I have asthma that I can't wear a mask. Uh -huh. And then, oh, here now they're getting ejected. And they're like, they're just doing this because uh, oh, the way I think. Yeah, or yeah, or yeah or whatever. Police. They're going to go straight to the victim. And then that's the whole news article. It's not well, what actually it's happened. It's every news article. Well, to a point. But yeah. if you say that, and that's then, the problem. But the problem comes down to uh, the people, because they don't support the backbone that used to be journalism, the invest, yeah. right? So because and a lot of they, laws are written now in the United States where it, it makes it harder to do that kind of thing. Yeah, because it's a measure of oversight. So what have they well, done? Well, it's like the, the two-party consent states. Like that is essentially what a lot of the the lawsuits that were coming out of these corporations for like. They that's wanted California. these laws. Arizona, you don't have two party consent. No, I know. That's what I mean. Like in these two party consent states, that's why that's they like do that is to fight someone, isn't it? Where you have to get secretly consent. recording this. Secretly yeah. recording, right. They, you have to have their consent. So, you, well, think but about as what an that means. journalist, that like means if you're you, going in and undercover and, you know, questioning somebody from a corporation or from a, mm, Going into a. Then you can't do uh, that. Yeah. You can't. Those you find something on camera of them doing something inappropriate, you can't use it yeah. because you don't have consent. That's <laughs> what it is. Yeah. So you catch them. Uh, but I thought that was uh, from. Um, uh, I thought those were. Um, Revenge porn? No, no. When you. You know how somebody uses. Uh, in, you know, where, where you can't disclose. Oh, you got your, uh, whistleblower. Uh, yeah. Your sources from. Well, I mean, yeah, a lot I, of journalists do that. But. It's not as powerful as with like recording uh, either video and audio right. where you're saying, look, this is this person's own words mm -hmm. instead of like, oh, this is what I heard. But again, but uh, yeah, uh, that's like why those states make those laws so is to fight. People want uh, reputable and honest news, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't want to pay for it either. No. no. Okay. And that's where the local yeah. uh, news sources come from. When if you, know, you want not, that stuff, you have to subscribe to your local yeah. uh, news magazines because, or, or news or whatever uh, because they need that revenue to stay open. If they can't get that revenue, then they're going to go out of business and you're going to have to get your, well, your, your there news. There are some private ones like Project Veritas, well, uh, you know, like it or not, they do investigative journalism. Well, I wouldn't uh, call that investigative journalism. Well, that's why they're that's not a reputable exactly news source. <laughs> what? I don't know what else you'd call it, but uh, propaganda. Uh, well, he he has a bias for sure. I mean, there's yeah. no straight up lies to the point where they get arrested and imprisoned for uh, spreading false information. No, that's not true. But what he got except all the abortion stuff for. when he was saying they were cutting up babies and no, selling their but parts. They never, None of that ended up being no, true. And no, they, was that's that Project Veritas? Yeah. yeah. So they never denied <laughs> that. They said that he that he should go to jail because how he got that information because he secretly recorded that and that's what happened they didn't refute the other part they never refuted that they only refuted that he should not have been able to put that out because they did not know they were being recorded and no, that's what he got no, in trouble that's for. not even close to true that is true it's because he was telling uh, there's been, he, lies he's there's actually it's called of, the Hyde uh, Amendment and there's all these laws based around abortions and how abortion providers... The Hyde Amendment has nothing money. to do with the United States. It only has to do with foreign countries. I think you might be mistaken on that one. No, it's it's having to do with, like, we it's, won't give money to organizations except for overseas. 
<laughs> who um, perform abortions. Well, it's not. No, no, no. It's not you countries. Can. The Hyde Amendment has to do with giving money to organizations. It's about not countries. It's about. We, we, you can't the, use taxpayer yeah, money. H-I-D-E. Uh, H-Y-D-E. You can't use taxpayer money to uh, pay for abortions. And then abortion no. providers can't make money. So yeah, the Hyde of, Amendment is uh, you can't give taxpayer money to organizations that perform abortions overseas. That's what it is. No, I mean, that's not to do with in the United States. It does it's only. For well, oh, I may be mistaken, but I could have swore that it was a lot of broader, yeah. uh, a lot broader and more sweeping, especially in America. And that's why, like, uh, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like when they talk about voter fraud, but then they never have any proof. They just talk about it. It's the same thing like with abortions. It's not like, oh, the government's spending all this money on abortions and government funded and all these things. Yeah. It's more like uh, the government's not allowed to spend money on it. There's already so many right-leaning laws saying that you can't spend tax money on abortions, you can't profit off of abortions, you know, like all these things. Yeah. And so that's like why abortions are around even in the way that they are is because they can't be funded by tax money. You know, yeah, it's actually written into our laws because you know who makes the laws? Politicians. So politicians, this is a very strong point to some people. So politicians write these laws, and even Democrats can say, "Okay, boom, I'm reaching across the aisle. You can't spend tax money on abortions." I think it would be on the very uh, first paragraph of the AM. Yeah, I mean, I'm, well, I'm trying to find, like, the actual... Like, the it. amendment itself? Well, because yeah. it's going to be, like, 140 pages long. No, no, he's on Wikipedia. Oh, yeah. And it's, uh... I thought he was going to read the actual amendment itself. Like, well, that's... The Hyde Amendment. Well, yeah, like I was saying, it's going to be... I read these things all the time for yeah. fun. And they're literally... <laughs> they'll have, a like, a short version uh-huh. that's, like, just the points, kind of like I do my thing. And it'll be, like, 20 pages long. And then you'll go and you'll read... Uh, and most of those will be filler, because one page will only have like ten things on it, and it'll be all sub subdivided by chapters and points. But then you go and read the actual thing. In the U.S. politics, the Hyde Amendment is a legislative uh, provision barring the use of federal funds to pay for abortions, except to save the life of uh, of the woman, or if the pregnancy arises from incest or rape. So there you go. That's uh, that's the, says nothing about that's it the being only stroke. foreign. Yeah, it's not because it's not. It's about America. But it's, it is. It's, it's well, it is here in America. It does have <laughs> American thing. But it is. Oh, I'm sure it uh, does. Except for Jerusalem. It's not by country. Except for Israel. It's by organization. Because they we pay for uh, government health. funded abortions over in Israel. Yeah. But you know, yeah, which they not, have uh, government provided health care, socialist health care. I think they call it. No, social social care, social. socialist care, socialist. socialist uh, <laughs> and they also have government provided abortions with their socialist care, which and I thought they were like uh, conservative religious country, but they have legal government funded American government funded abortions there, provided by their health system. You know their health care system. Well, you know there's loopholes. Yo, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. We say here's a. Uh, you know, foreign aid. Your support aid. And uh, here's six billion plus one extra billion that you don't have to spend out of your pocket. <laughs> right. uh, so that's why they have all this stuff because we pay for whatever we pay there. They just subsidize it for something else. Right. Yeah. It's but, perfect. Uh, again, this is the type of uh, of journalism you people don't get. Uh, yeah. Well, because nobody wants to read the article. They well, just want to read the headline. Well, they don't want to pay for it either. And if you don't want to pay for it, then yeah. you're going to get these biased uh, news, you know, uh, that are getting funded through uh, private corporations. Yeah, think uh, tanks. I mean, there are some journalists that still do. Because there's a very far right uh, news, like TV channel. Yeah. And it's not, I think it, it's not Newsmax, it's the other one, OA. OAN? OAN, what they call it? Yeah. You know, uh, that the one, Trump family owns a sizable share <laughs> well and then it was also funded and started by uh, AT&T okay again I, I mean didn't know that. it was on that and that uh, John Oliver John Oliver episode and so again if you're not gonna pay for it 
someone else is going to pay for it who has an agenda. Well, and that's why are, you're going to have. Uh, and see, I I have a theory, and um, it I have none zero research on this, but you know what probably happened is some big company got a hold of the FCC or whatever, rewrote the law <laughs> to make it so that small companies, small local independent news organizations no, okay. couldn't get funded the same way or ran into some kind of... Then they started to fail. No, 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 no. Then these big corporations came in and just started sweeping everything up. It's either they get their funding either through advertisements in yes. their, in their uh, pages yeah. and subscriptions. And so uh, if they don't have enough subscribers... Well, advertisers aren't going to put advertisements in there because they're saying, uh, yeah, because you're, you're not your reaching a big enough audience. Yeah, sure, your newspaper is just not big enough and it's not worth it. You get one percent, one one tenth of a percent, right? You need a hundred thousand people to sell ten things, you know. And the, the thing is, uh, uh, recourse or rec repercussion to false, you know, news headlines are is much greater with the uh, with the newspaper. Because it's local, you can call them out, right? And uh, <laughs> with a major news organization that, that's broadcasted nationwide or globally, they just sweep you under the carpet. They don't care. They move on. You say, well, what they said was false and it wasn't true. And <laughs> Moving on. Uh, exactly. And what are you going to do? You, you get, water. you get, uh, you know. Just yeah, throw my <laughs> So you can't hold uh, the the big uh, news uh, companies feet to the fire. You can't because they just move on. And same thing happens with. Uh, well, I didn't know this until the uh, I think it was the Casey Anthony. What was the one where the baby went missing? Yeah, went missing, and then. Um, oh, they went to Hawaii, right? Something like that. Yeah, it was found in the trunk. I don't remember, but. I, um, it was one of those stories that captured like the uh, the imagination of the country. And my point was only that I didn't know this until then, but they I watched an interview with a guy who was talking about how those stories become um, national news instead of just local stories. Uh -huh. And they literally have these like agents who are going out and looking for those type of stories. <laughs> and for the because like that one was already like two years old or something, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden it became this big deal. Again, everybody was caring about. So these guys go out and they get paid essentially to find these local stories that will capture the imagination. Like news scouts. Them up. Yeah, they're like yeah, which you know it's like ridiculous because you know, but that's that's partly how um, we're manipulated by well, the media is like they <laughs> jam the stories down our throat like oh this is what distractions. No, they're not. Well, they know tragedy. They, well, like the Gabby Petito case, I think is. So you know, part of that. So then, what do you do? Well, well you just how have do you to, curve that? How do you? Uh, me, I, I try to look at as many news sources as possible. Is how I personally combat that. Like I read the news on as many different. Gary news reads, uh, yeah, big variety like uh, Fox News, Fox News Online, yeah, Fox News. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're, you're right here. I got Fox News up. I got CNN up. Yeah. Um, you know, no, and I, I read the news. I don't watch the news, and I, I've told you about that before. Mm -hmm. Where like I don't watch Hannity. I don't watch Don Lemon. I don't. I don't watch well, any of those. That's not news. news. That's, that's, that's I know exactly. But a lot of people don't understand that, yeah. and that's how they get their news, uh -huh. even though it's all opinion. And when you read the news, it's it's a lot better than they watching. actually have to write opinion at the top of the article. Yeah. So and if say you're going to read an, an inflammatory yeah. article, it, the, yeah, it'll say way opinion to hard to from, uh, yeah. 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 Not an actual news story. This is just how I'm. It, it, it's a lot harder to like fear monger and stuff like in an article too than it is like when you see these rants that these. You can definitely are fear monger. No, you can't. It's just, it's just harder. Crime. Yeah, it's just harder to like get oh, right, that emotion right, right. than the, uh, the voice. watching the person. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it definitely yeah, like you know, yeah. right? Like I see it in articles, but yeah, you don't get the same emotional responses when you watch, you know, Don Lemon, you know, impassionedly like going off on with a little clip tangent. show in the corner mm -hmm. of uh, all these people being beaten you know, or right. you know whatever, just to, to invoke them with dogs barking. <laughs> yeah. No. So, but yeah, I, I, me personally, I read the news and I read as many different.